scratch it and we, you see, I think we see the problem now. So I actually think there is no anything problem. The Cadillac motor car, whose supreme quality, inspiring performance and breathtaking beauty, greatness, is never achieved. That's here, but now I see they, they have place there for me. Because you know, if I don't check everything, we do this inside car, we have to open again. Something wrong with that. Yeah, that's why I, I say we have to look. Before they thought somewhere. Yeah. They, they thought somewhere or not, that's why. Yo, they cut off. Yo, they, they thought this side. I have to pull put down a little bit more. I tell you already. Uh -uh. You don't see. You mean there? Yeah. Uh -huh. You don't see they are together there. So that's why we have to check now everything. If do this in a car. Hello from Wannabe Overlander YouTube channel. Today we are not doing our Overland vehicle. I have this 59 Cadillac convertible. As those who look my previous season, I'm traveling around to Finland with this 59 Cadillac. I had a problem with the we have to use my telephone as a speedometer here. It starts to wobbling and then it starts to make a big noise, ticking noise and... Uh, because this is gone crazy. It stops working and I took out the metal cable. So today we are going to pull out this meter and then I'm going to drive this car to the, my spray boot end of driving of this season. So I'm going to try to repair those speedometer in next winter. Then I can have it back and install it before the next driving season starts. Let's start. I need to, I can open the roof so I can have better place to work in here. I'm not going to stacking it 100% because for winter storage I, I need it closed here and just open it like this. I'm going to take some storage box for tools and uh, screws and something like that so I can start to tear the parts off. I need to take out the styrene wheel and we have also a new horn ring which I'm going to install back for the next Next summer, let's go find some tools and start working. I'm not quite happy to tearing off all parts from this car because this is so fragile and not easy to find correct screws, correct parts. And uh, I need to really take care of those so I don't lose. I don't want to scratch in this, I don't want to have a chrome parts scratch it and we, you see don't forget to open this first but okay it's not a not damage drop this but it's okay then open the styrene nut here and if I don't mark this I cannot put it back anymore right position so I don't know how it's how I'm going to mark it I think I need to just turn the styrene straight before open it it's quite hard here okay anyway I need to go driving in the road so I can see it's straight position this nut is 15, 16 of inch. This is not tight. I'm not over tightening anything in this car. But this is quite tricky to open. But I think it should come off like this. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's off. So I'm not going to hit this axle because here is this horn button contact and it's very fragile so now we have place 
for working here. And this horn ring we are going to put new. And I cut here, here this small pin. So that's why I have this here in the copper pin. Secure this for, for the spinning. It was attached here. Yeah, and now I'm block this like this. And this horn ring we are going to replace with the new. Then take the screws off. Actually this dashboard it's not not the connect with the very tight here. It's only lock here in the front end. I think I'm going to take off this light here also. There is some very small fitting issue here so I'm going to solve that at the same time when I put it back together next time. There's really not much place to take off parts. Okay, and then I think it's attached here. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think so. Let's have one screw here each side. I think it's now it should be open here. Yeah. yeah, and I think I need to pull off the light switch. I don't remember anything anymore. Yeah, I'm going to read a little bit information. Yeah, I forget to open this lower panel because there is this uh, gear indicator. Lucky I don't pull it too much out yet. I need to open this lower panel here. Then remove this indicator pointer. I need another tool for that. I think it's this one. Yeah. I hope I don't scratch it. Yeah, nice. It's okay. This is the indicator. And they say open this. You pull to lower it, but I don't think so. It's necessary. If I remember, it's not necessary to lower in this column. Anything here is position, and then I need to open this speedometer knob here. I can see it each day. Yo. Yeah. This way. Oh. Oh. I, mean, I have to open all the auto here. Mm -hmm. Next time I do them back with them bit different because I do something wrong that time. Oh. This one go out here. Yeah. How, how this meter you have to go out. You have place for your hand. And, uh, oh, this I do extra cable, ground cable. Your other glass. I try to think for where I can open it. I don't want to take out. Oi! Fuck! Yeah. Uh. Go turn that another side, wrong side there. No, katsotaan tuleeksi sieltä. Tiedätkö? You have to look. Oh, you're looking at salo. I try to do salo. Yo, now you have to turn this up like that. I take a hand. I take a hand now. No. You don't know that they're very heavy. How I know. I I, that's why I say I have to take my hand. No need. Eat us. Now I don't need more help. Okay, I'm going to show you. Now the meter is off. My mistake is here. It's need, this needs to disconnecting from those multiple connectors from the down here, from here. So you don't need to plug these all small cables same time 
when you carry the meter. Meter is very heavy. So I need to make some. This is not uh, looking very nice here. Have some scratches. I think they came when when installing the meter several times. This grabbing here. I need to make some protection here, definitely. And these cables need to put in, in the meter first. So this cable you can connect with the meter before you install it in the car. And then just find those cables from under car, under the dash and then install them. So now I clear something out here, then we go open the meter cluster. So let's take out the instrument cluster. I'm not very happy to do this, but again, I don't have choice. It's a 7 16th socket wrench. It's possible to open it here too, but I think it's a better pull out the whole cluster because this meter, I can take this upper panel somewhere at a safe place. Yeah, and, and, and it's stuck. It's stuck very strong there. I hope I don't damage the color too much, that red color surface. Okay, it's off. I can put the nuts back here, so I don't need to find them anymore. So if this can fit in the car trunk, I don't need to have another place for save this. So I'm going to go try. So let's open this meter cluster so we can see what's the problem inside. I am not remember anymore how I should open this, but let's start to unscrewing it. This is a kind of nightmare. If it's not working, it's a huge job to take it off all the time. And here, here was that snag. Snag. Yeah, it's here. All another cage is working, but the speedometer. What is wrong with that? So this toilet paper rolls I need to save here. Yeah, some of lenses are here, some of uh, are in their places. So I need to be quite careful with this. So I really don't need to take them off here. Yeah, you can't put them wrong way. I think we see the problem now. If you look this speedometer axle, there is something came off. Some bushing or bearing. It's quite loose there. If you see, there is something of some bearing. This not need to be so loose like it now. So I need to check check that one. So I take out the treat meter. I think the problem is not with the treat meter. It's just the speed meter. This is a nightmare to sending with the post to the USA so I try to figure it out how what I do with this so this is easy to take out trip meter yeah and this should roll very nice I can put here the numbers what I need so this is nice this piece is not have problem I have to roll there all the miles what I have driven. Now we need to disassemble this. I need to find what's the problem. Yeah, you see it's stuck here. So I need to take off the needle, take off the plate, and then I can have just a meter. So on this needle, not a, not a happy work to take off. I just need to take the tool and pull it off two tools of, of this kind, or probably only one. 
yeah snacks off like this the scale and then the axial meter, meter. so this is the speedometer yeah and this bronze bushing was loosened also here this might be the one of the problem I took off this once before so there is some so the problem might be just with this so this might be the way how you adjust the, some kind of gap there and now it's going in but the why so I actually think there is no anything problem inside here there is just this axle but spinning there in the bearing and this is a magnet and and this is this is clean inside here there's no something something which can make any prop problems and uh, I just need to make sure anything is lubricated and uh, so I don't have very good cable for testing this meter but uh, I use this uh, automator trip cable and we're trying to testing this it's not easy to make it a right angle for so it's not a wobble but now I'm testing the speedometer and it seems to working quite nice cable is not correct cable but So I think you can see it's working. So I think the problem is solved and the speedometer is working. So next season, before next season, I'm going to install this back to the, our car. And the uh, reason why I don't put it back there right now, I'm already lifting the car up on the axle stands and uh, it's waiting for the next season and there is not enough room for I put all back together but the meter is fine and I'm going to end this video here and next video I'm probably going to talk to you about a little bit more my overland vehicle project and how is it going to proceed and thank you for watching this episode and see you later Thank you for watching and see you in next episode. Kirkas taivas, kutsuva tuuli, otan irti kaiken sen.